In the space of just a few decades, New Zealand wines have achieved remarkable success. With its clean green image and focus on premium quality, New Zealand now commands the highest average selling price of any wine producing country in the UK market. While New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc is undoubtedly the star performer, demand for other varieties continues to grow. Best known amongst New Zealand's wine regions is Marlborough, famous for its Sauvignon Blanc and now earning a reputation for its Pinot Noir, Pinot Gris and aromatics. Stretching across the northeastern corner of the South Island, bounded by the Pacific Ocean to the east and mountain ranges inland, Marlborough has a broad alluvial plain that rises into river valleys. One of these, the Awatree Valley, is the fastest growing viticultural subregion in the country. It was here, amongst the rolling foothills, that early settlers established New Zealand's first great sheep station. Today, it is the home of Yeelands Estate, pioneers on a different path. We're breaking new ground in sustainable wine production. Spanning some 1,000 hectares of prime viticultural land, the estate is owned and run, more from a tractor than a boardroom, by Peter Yeelands. This is part of what we call contouring, our first stage of preparation. This little gully here is just a little bit incised, too much so to actually terrace it. So here we're, we're putting sort of giant terraces in, if you like, and this will mean that we've got uh, good harmony amongst the vineyard, it'll all flow and uh, not look too patchy. Because if you, if you don't do it, you, you end up with areas that have become, in, in a sense, wasteland. He's one of Marlborough's most experienced vineyard developers and innovators, a champion of environmentally sustainable farming practices and something of a local legend. Obviously, I, I love me toys. Staunch, down-to-earth and immensely pragmatic, Peter has a track record of rising to the challenge. Years back, it was in helping New Zealand's fledgling marine farming industry get established. His love of the water continues as he pushes the boundaries of premium wine production using sustainable, environmentally friendly practices. In this particular vineyard here, we've got uh, 20 little wetlands, and I'm a, a wetland fanatic. I love my birds. My aim here is, is to get enough wetlands created so that we can have a lot of native birds around the vineyards. I believe that uh, to be sustainable, you need to put more back in than you take out. And to that end, uh, you know, we plant native wherever we can. The wetlands here, they're all strategically placed. They all hold back runoff so we don't get, from a heavy rain, we don't get a lot of erosion because the wetlands capture this runoff in little pockets, slowly release back into the ground. Peter's green perspective and skills with innovation have proven a powerful combination. Yeelands estate is in one of the windiest grape growing areas in Marlborough. It's also one of the driest. While others considered the rolling contours unsuitable for viticulture because the land was just too rugged, Peter innovated with vineyard terracing and advanced GPS technology to establish vineyards that produce crops of complexity and balance. Lush growth in the gullies is balanced by lower yielding vines subjected to harsher conditions on the ridges that produce intense, pure fruit-driven flavours. One has to learn to actually work with the land and with, with uh, uh, the environment and if you can get in sync with that, things generally are easier. You don't have to go about things the hard way, you've just got to put a little bit more thought into it. This is our first full, full production harvest um, of some of the older vines and uh, some of the fruit that we've had come in this season is just amazing and it's, yeah, it is really rewarding now after all the hard work we've all been putting in to actually see the results going into our own wine. They have come in with very different characteristics and fruit flavours and intensity of flavours, you know, in the in the winery. So, I think it's it's great because it, you know it makes gives us more scope to blend with at the end, and it gives us different flavours and different characters. And we're not sort of all a stock standard sort of style. Um, it's giving lots of different styles through one vineyard. We're accredited with um, Sustainable Wine Growing New Zealand to uh, to produce the highest quality um, fruit we can clean um, with absolute minimal impact on the environment. That's our, our main objective. But it is the Yeelands Estate Winery that best epitomises our commitment to sustainability and innovation. The first winery in the world to be built under the Green Building Code. Every detail of its planning, construction and operation has taken into account the impact on the environment.
the result is a truly leading-edge design that incorporates green technology throughout, including solar energy, heat recovery technologies, and full recycling of winery byproducts. Our aim is to be entirely self-powered, with current plans afoot for a wind turbine to be installed. The way the winery has been built, we, we're saving as much energy as possible um, as far as recovering um, heat from the refrigeration. We also have solar panels on the top of the winery. So just things like that, I think, really does uh, make this winery or puts it in front. We're, we're always looking at new ways to, uh, to innovate, to, uh, to create uh, sustainability. I'm going to put my hands up to claim that we're the most sustainable vineyard and winery in the world. We're hoping that we will be able to also put our hands up for having the first winery in the world that's totally self-sufficient in power. When we actually get into the bottle of wine, all of our bottles are, are made from recycled glass. The same with our cartons. Cartons are made from recycled paper. Every component that there is uh, has to, from our perspective, be from a recycled product. Alongside the development of the winery, Yilin's estate is rapidly expanding its vineyards. We're moving quickly to develop the 1,000 hectare estate to meet the strong international demand for quality New Zealand wines that have been produced sustainably. And that spirit of innovation in vineyard management and wine production also sees us experimenting with new varieties such as Nebbiolo, Tempranillo and Groener Veltliner. We're starting off at about three and a half to four thousand tonne capacity. We're moving up to ten to eleven thousand tonne um, in the next three to four years so we will be growing. We certainly have the, the right size capacities from, from the receival to the presses to the tanks to work with smaller volumes and to keep things separate and that is going to really give us the edge when we come to blend and really being able to have attention to detail and fine tune and um, make the exact right blends. We've had an amazing amount of international interest in this project. We've had uh, distributors come out the woodwork. We've had a lot of overseas media interest. And uh, uh, it's all starting to gel. We've got some fantastic terroir here. We've got some, a fantastic team of people. We're producing some beautiful wines. We've got a state-of-the-art winery. And it's all driven by our desire to, of excellence and sustainability.